What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick one, I'll be showing you a very annoying issue that you could be getting. I have an NVIDIA 3080 Ti. However, trying to launch up Fortnite, you'll see that for some reason, while it's starting up, of course, this could be different for you. Wherever this happens to you, that Okay, well, that didn't work too well. PC just blue screen, but anyways, this is the error that I got here. Out of video memory, trying to allocate a rendering resource, etc. You can get this with any game, not just Fortnite. So how do we fix it? Well, obviously, assuming your graphics card does meet the minimum requirements, what could be the issue? Well, the first, simplest solution is your page file. To fix this, hold start and press E to open up a new file browser. Then right click this PC and choose properties. On Windows 11, you'll see this screen here. On Windows 10, you'll see the file browser move to the control panel. On Windows 10, on the far left, click advanced system settings. On Windows 11, click advanced system settings here. Now we're all in the same place. In this new window, head to the advanced tab at the very top and performance at the very top here. We'll click settings and inside of this new window under the advanced tab, look for virtual memory. Click change change, untick automatic, choose C drive, the one where you have windows on and change it from system managed to custom size. We'll set the initial size to 12,000 and the maximum to around 30,000. The numbers don't need to be exact, just somewhere in this rough area should be enough for Fortnite and other games. Click OK, OK and OK. At this point, you'll need to restart your PC and you'll receive a prompt about doing so. You'll need to do that here now. Assuming that doesn't work, we can verify the game files to make sure things are working properly. For Fortnite, head to the library and search for your game here, otherwise you'll see it in the list. Click the three dots underneath it, choose manage, then select verify next to verify files. If you're doing this for a different game, for example on Steam, simply locate the game, right click, choose properties and on the local files tab, select verify integrity of game files. When this is done, all of your game files should be exactly what they should be and things should hopefully work properly. Otherwise, you can try updating or reinstalling your graphics driver. And of course, assuming you can reach the main menu of Fortnite or whatever game you're having this issue in, try and lower the graphics settings. Simply lowering model resolution or texture resolution is usually enough as those two options take up the most VRAM usually. What else can we try? Well, assuming you have a dedicated GPU like an Nvidia or AMD graphics card and an integrated graphics card such as built into your processor, you can check this with Control Shift Escape which pulls up the task manager and on the performance tab, the second tab here, you should see your Intel GPU built into your graphics card and your Nvidia GPU for example. Anyways, if you have multiple graphics cards, what you need to do is navigate to where Fortnite is installed. If you chose C drive, it'll more than likely be in C program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. And inside of here, we're scrolling all the way down, sorted by name for Fortnite launcher and Fortnite client Win64 shipping.exe. These two will need to remember where they are. Hit start, type in GPU and we're opening the graphics settings menu, which you can also get to by opening settings, heading to system display, and then graphics. On this tab, scroll down and look for where we can add apps. Simply click add desktop app and navigate to the same folder we found earlier. You can click at the very top in an empty spot to select it all and copy it, then paste it in here and hit enter. What we'll do is add the Win64 shipping exe and we'll add another one being the Fortnite Launcher EXE. Scrolling down, make sure that both Fortnite Launcher and Fortnite are set to the same option. As you can see, let Windows decide, high performance, and let Windows decide aren't the same. The top option for the actual game is trying to launch it on my NVIDIA graphics card, which is correct, so I'll choose high performance. However, the Fortnite launcher is trying to open on my power saving Intel integrated graphics chip. This isn't correct. Change this to high performance NVIDIA GPU as well. Both of these should be high performance. This was the solution for me and was what fixed it for me. However, if you are still having issues, you can reset your graphics settings or all 
for Fortnite by holding start and pressing R to bring up the run dialog and inside of here type in percentage local app data percentage and hit enter. Then in here we're navigating to Fortnite game so click anywhere and type in Fort where we should have Fortnite game selected. Open this then saved config windows client and you'll find game user settings .ini in here. You can customize your game user settings such as resolution etc but the best thing to do is just rename this file so it's completely reset otherwise you can delete it if you're sure you don't want to keep anything from it renaming it is good as when the game fires up again it'll generate a new options file and assuming you want to go back you can if it's renamed and that's about it for this quick video so thank you all for watching my name's been troubleshoot and i'll see you all next time ciao